Hi, hope you're having a great day. In this video, we will see how Kafka Connect can be set up in distributed mode. Also, we will deploy a file sync connector which will read data from a Kafka topic and write the data into a file. Let's get started. The first and most important thing is to set up Kafka in your local. I have already shown how Kafka can be set up in a previous video. The link to that video will be visible in the screen right now. Also, I will put a link to this in the description below. Now, once Kafka is set up in your machine, then we need to set up the Kafka Connect properties. Let's get started now. Currently, I am in the Kafka folder. So let me go to the config folder. Here you will find something known as connect distributed dot properties. Let me copy this. I have copied it. Now let me edit that file. You can see a bunch of properties here. For example, we are saying that the bootstrap servers is localhost 1992, which is where Kafka is running in my local. The Kafka connect cluster name is connect cluster. This particular thing we will be changing. So here we are saying that it is a JSON converter which is used for the Kafka key and value. Let me convert this to a string converted since in our example we will be dealing with string data. I will be replacing this. I will replace this as well. Now this is a string converted. After that, you see something known as offset storage topic. We can keep it as connect offset. Then you have config storage topic, which can be connect config. And finally, you have status storage topics, which is connect status. All of these three topics, connect offsets, connect config, and connect status, are used to store information about the Kafka Connect cluster. After that, you also see something known as plugin.part. So normally, if there is any new connector you are installing, you will have to point to that here. In this example, we will use a connector which is already available. So we don't need to set plugin.part. Let me save this file. Now our Kafka Connect property is ready. The next thing that we need to do is create a Kafka topic. I will be using this command. So I am creating a topic pointing it to localhost 1992. The topic name is file sync test. It has one partition and one replication factor. I have created the topic now. The next thing that we need to do is start the Kafka Connect cluster in distributed mode. It is very simple to start it. The command is bin connect distributed. We will run it in daemon mode and we need to give it the config which we just created. Now we have started Kafka Connect. Kafka Connect provides a REST API which we can use. So let me just hit the REST API now. It runs on port 8083. It is still getting started. Let's wait for it. Here we can see that the Kafka Connect cluster has clearly started now. Another thing which I can run is curl localhost 8083 connectors. Here we can see an empty array. Basically, right now, no connectors are running. The next thing that we need to do is submit the connector. Here we will create a file sync connector which will write data from a Kafka topic into a file. So if I do lslibs grep file, you can see a jar here. This is nothing but the connector jar. 
So if you want to deploy any other jar, maybe a custom connector, first you will have to bring that jar into this folder and only then you will be able to start the connector. The next thing that we need to do is create a config for this connector. Let me go to the config folder. I'll create a new JSON file. So let me create the file. I'll use nano to create the file. Connect file sync demo dot JSON. Let me copy it here. Basically what we are saying is the name of the connector is file sync test. The connector class is file stream sync. This class is there in the jar file which I showed you. Tasks is used to control the concurrency. We are saying we want only one task. You can see that the file is temp file sync test.txt. This is the file where the data from Kafka topic will be written. Topics is the Kafka topic where we are reading from. And again, this is the connector name. This is the JSON which we will be submitting to the Kafka Connect cluster which we just started. Let me save this. Now, what we have done till now is we have started Kafka Connect in daemon mode and in distributed mode. Then we have created a config for the file sync connector. The next step is to submit this connector to our Kafka Connect cluster. You can do this with a POST request. Let me copy the request here. Basically, what we are saying is we have a POST request here. The data is of type JSON. We are hitting the endpoint localhost 8083 slash connectors and we need to pass the config. This config is nothing but the config which we just created. Let me submit this. I ran it in the wrong folder, hence the error. Let me resubmit again. Now the connector has been submitted successfully. How do I know that the connector is running? So let me use this endpoint. You can see there is one connector called file sync test which is running. Let me check the status of this connector. I just need to put the name here. Here we can see that this is the config which we submitted to the connector. Let me check the status as well. It is saying that the status is running and we can see it is running in localhost port 8083. The next thing is to validate if this is running fine. So what I will do is I will start a Kafka producer where I will send some data to a Kafka topic and I will tail this file to see if data is coming in the file. So let me open up two terminals now. Now I have two terminals. In the left hand side terminal, I will be pushing some data into a Kafka topic. And in the right hand side terminal, I will be tailing the file where the data should be written. Let me start the producer. I am using Kafka console producer, sending it to the cluster localhost 1992 and the topic I will send the data to is file sync test. I will also put a tail on the file. Basically temp, basically temp file sync test is the file where the data will be written. I am just tailing it. Let me send some data now. I will send test. You can see that whatever data I am sending here is appearing in this file. Thus, we know that our file sync connector is working perfectly. Let me exit out of this. I will exit out of this as well. Let me also print the file again. This is the file. You can see all our data is written in the file. Another thing which I want to show is the list of Kafka topics. Let me use the Kafka topics command for this. So I am using the Kafka topics command. I am pointing it to localhost 1992 and I am listing out all the topics. Here we can see that we have multiple topics. One is file sync test which is the topic where we are writing data to. Also you see three other topics connect configs, connect offsets and connect status. These three topics are internal to the Kafka Connect cluster and the Kafka Connect cluster uses this to store some of the data.
I hope that this video gave you a good idea about how Kafka Connect can be set up in distributed mode. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel as well as hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.